Today we're going to disassemble a Droid Razor MXT907. This one's a little bit different than the previous versions of the Razor. So if you don't know about a couple of the screws on the top here, you can get into trouble. Um, this one came in, uh, I think we were doing a board swap on this initially. So we're going to start by turning the phone off. And as you know, the batteries on these ones are internal, so you really can't disconnect the battery until you disassemble the phone. Uh, but uh, we're going to have three Torx 5 screws on each side, three more across the bottom underneath this panel, and two more right behind the Motorola label on the top. So again, if you don't know these are here, they're going to get you into trouble. Make sure you heat these up a little bit. It's held on into place by a couple of clips and also some adhesive tape. Uh, double-sided tape that's underneath and this thing is not too hard to get underneath I, I started it with the blade here because my pry tool wasn't quite thin enough to get inside if you do choose to use anything bladed just be really careful you don't want to scratch this up or nick it or ding it uh, but I just pulled it apart enough here just enough to get my pry tool inside and this is actually from a lens protector kit I believe the little uh, credit card type tool that you use to smooth things out and this got in here really nicely seemed to be the right size and that'll pop right off this is the easy part just be careful you don't want to damage your clips when you remove it and then we're going to go ahead and heat up this uh, metallic type label at the top that says Motorola on it because we've got two hidden two T5 screws underneath here and of course if you start prying before you know these are where these are uh, you can get into trouble cracking the case and this thing is a little tricky to get under also so again you can see i went in under there with the blade try not to bend it you can actually bend it back into shape if it once it bends but if you put any crimps in it they're going to show up later on it's not going to look very nice so make sure you lose, use a liberal amount of heat and just get right underneath the label here and try to peel it off uh, in a smooth motion so that you don't bend it and that'll ex expose the other two screws that are underneath Set that aside for right now, and if you need to, you can add some double uh, adhesive tape, double-sided adhesive tape to put those back on. So we've got three screws here on the bottom, two on the top, and then three down each side. You're going to want to go ahead and remove all of those, and then it's a little bit hard to see right here. I think I'll give a close-up shortly, but down at the bottom, there are a couple of clips that hold this um, faceplate onto the back of the housing and unlike the old razor, you don't just pop the battery cover off the back. You're actually going to separate the lens, the front half of the phone and the back half from each other. And there's a flex cable with a pop connector in between the two. So you want to do this very slowly and very carefully. And you'll see here shortly, as soon as I get all these screws out, that um, we can go ahead and start prying down along the sides of the phone. And it does pop apart, but you don't want to apply any force to separate the two until you can kind of look inside there and see where this cable is located. And of course, always make sure that you remove your SIM card and your micro SD card. We don't want those to be in the way when we start prying. And go around to the other side now and take out these last three screws. And fortunately, each screw set is a slightly different size, so it's pretty difficult to mix them up. You've got six of one size that go down the sides, three of one size that go on the bottom, and two of another size that go on the top. So you shouldn't have to worry about figuring out where these go as long as you remember what they look like beforehand. Of course, I always recommend laying them out in order. So once we've got them all out, we can kind of work our way up and down each side and just kind of get this separated a little bit. And you'll see these little clips here on the side, um, right where I'm pointing there on each side. You've got to kind of release those clips very carefully. You don't want to break them off because that's going to help hold the bottom of the phone together. So if you just kind of maneuver it uh, in the proper direction, you should be able to unclip this thing without breaking off those little clear plastic tabs that are down at the bottom. So be real careful. That's probably about the trickiest part about this whole thing is just making sure you don't damage those. So once we crack it apart, if you look at it from the side here in a second, and still kind of digging around underneath the bottom here, trying to pull this apart, and it finally started to release. And you got one more clip down here. It's a little stubborn on this one. You just don't want to force it, whatever you do. And you can see now that we've got one little cable between the, the uh, two pieces here that we have to disconnect from the logic board. Once you pop that off, you've got your LCD separated. So at this point, you could actually uh, switch out the LCD if you had to. You can also see this main speaker there for the earpiece and uh, should have access to both of the cameras. And we've got some connections here. We need to... 
Oh, actually, we've got six more screws on the inside. Um, one, two, three, four on the left and two on the right that are also T5 Torx screws. So in order to pull the logic board out, we've got to go ahead and remove those. And I'm going to disconnect the front facing camera right here. You've got a pop connector. Then you've got the battery down here, which is going to lift straight up away from the board. Not, not up, not down, not left, not right, but actually towards you. You can just get underneath here and pop it. It's a certain sort of a pop connector, I guess you could call it. Let's go ahead and move that over to the side. And we can actually remove the main camera right here with this little pop connector in case you need to replace that. So I'll go ahead and take out the rest of these T5 screws. And then you've got to kind of maneuver the board out because it's tucked under uh, some flex cable at the top right hand corner where the front facing camera and the sensor are. And you want to make sure you don't snag the battery cable when you lift the board out. So we're going to kind of get underneath this a little bit. And again, uh, you can see it kind of, you want to maneuver it around that cable. Make sure you move the battery cable out of the way and then you can kind of just pull it out and that one top right hand corner comes out last because it's kind of tucked underneath the flex cable. There's your logic board and from here if you need to you can actually remove and or replace the battery and the uh, external speaker which are all located in this part of the housing and there's not too much adhesive on here. I, I think I hit it with a heat gun for a second but it wasn't too difficult to get the battery out. To reassemble the phone, just reverse the process. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and for more information on cell phone repair training, you can go to GoMDWireless.com and click on the training tab.